As you see, this is the street version. It has the headlights, the turn signal for the right, the mode button, the turn signal for the left, and your horn. If you switch around to the back, you notice that there are two more buttons here on the back of it. They're for your DDC, ABS, traction control, and uh, the other settings that you might want to do through the menu. As you see, it's all aluminum construction. These are the same ones used by the Altair BMW team. And then your right hand switch panel. It has your kill switch, your start, and this is what we call the mode lockout. It uh, locks out the mode on this side for um, a couple functions that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, don't mind the, the throttle. If we're getting a new quick throttle for this bike, it will show you probably by next week. Um, it's going to clean up the look of the handlebar really well. And really cool thing is, look how much room you save. Um, you got your grips on. You have so much room to play with the clutch lever, and uh, the remote adjuster fits here fairly easily. Let me just turn on the bike to show you the functions. Um, that's your kill switch, that's your ignition, and that's the mode lockout as we mentioned before. This is like an on-off switch. So you know how we rock the kill switch back and forward. And then, so when it's like this, it's off, and now that's on. So just press the ignition. Kill switch, there you go. Let me quickly show you the left hand switch panel. That's your headlight button. So if you just click it, it will do the high beam function. And if you press it and it stays in, that's your high beams on at all times. That's your right turn signal. And to cancel, you hit the mode button. As you see, it cancels. Left turn signal mode button to cancel it and then finally that's your horn so you're now wondering so how do we change the mode so that's when this mode lockout button comes into play uh, we'll just press this once and now you see that if you try to signal and cancel it won't cancel it because actually it's changing the modes so press this one more time and as you see now it won't change the modes it'll actually cancel turn signals on the back that I showed you so these buttons don't work um, if the mode switch is on so if you go put the bike back on this mode that the mode switch works it locks out those back buttons so see I'm pressing the back buttons it doesn't do anything so let's lock out the mode and as you see now that when I press it it'll go through the menus so now this is your trip information and then this is your other settings that you have to do so it works the same way as the the OEM buttons work so if you want to enter a setup menu you press and hold it down and then you see it'll go through it and to cycle through it's the same thing just keep pressing and if you want to exit just press and hold it down so on a nutshell this is how these street version of ones work um, they're really really cool and this fact that they're used by the Althea team it makes them even more special and as we mentioned these are the street ones we have these for the race versions which um, they get rid of all the, the headlight turn signal and the horn function and you get your traction control mode and a couple other functions on there we'll probably put them on in a race bike and I'll go show it to you later on